In this section, we're going to talk about how to install the Evernote desktop client on your PC or your Mac. Uh, the desktop clients are far and away the most feature rich and uh, give you the best Evernote experience, in my opinion. So you're going to want to get these get these going. So uh, fastest way to do it is open up your web browser and go to evernote.com slash get it, G-E-T-I-T. -T. That's going to automatically figure out what kind of computer you have and start downloading the uh, client application. We're doing this on a Mac, so as you can see, here's the Evernote for Mac download happening. Um, if you run a PC, you'll be doing the same thing. So we're going to wait for this to finish downloading. Um, and while we're waiting, we can actually talk about how the alternate method of installing Evernote which is through the Mac App Store, if you're on a Mac, obviously. So if you just search for Evernote, this will be the first result. So when you, when it opens, just click, uh, this will say free if you don't have it installed already. So just click that and it'll uh, prompt you to input your iTunes credentials and then it'll start downloading. So once the installation package finishes, it's gonna automatically launch on a Mac anyway and give you the um, license agreement. So we'll just click agree. And then it's gonna give you the regular old plain Jane software installer for a Mac OS X application. So here it just wants us to drag Evernote into the applications folder and drop it there. Uh, if you're on a PC, you're going to need to go through the setup application, which is a few few extra steps. But um, if you've installed software on a PC before, it's mostly just double click the Evernote.exe setup program, um, hit next a few times. And you can I think you can change the installation directory if you want to, but otherwise you can just accept the defaults and, you know, next, 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 finish, that kind of thing. So once you've got the Evernote application installed properly, you can go ahead and launch it. Now, the first time you launch Evernote, the first thing you're going to see is this welcome screen with this snazzy little video. So you've got two options here. Uh, if you already have an account with Evernote, you can plug in your username and password here and just hit sign in. Uh, if you don't have an account with Evernote, you can click this link that says get a free Evernote account now. And if you click that, you're going to be prompted to fill out this little form here, which is pretty straightforward, just your name, email address, a uh, unique username, and then your password. But since we already have an account, we're going to close this guy and log in with our account right now. So once you sign in, you're going to be looking at the, uh, the brand new clean, empty Evernote desktop window with exactly one note that Evernote gave you by default. And it has a bunch of links to the different clients you can download um, for mobile and desktop and various other things. And that is about it. We have successfully installed Evernote for your desktop. Up next, we're going to talk about all the cool configurations you can do.